Now, with a rectangle, going back to our formula sheet, and we'll clear the ink, with a rectangle, what they're asking us to do is they're saying that for a rectangle, we can take perimeter equals 2 times length and 2 plus 2 times width. Let's see what that means. Here is a rectangle and if it is 7 centimeters on this side, it's 7 centimeters over here and if it's 14 centimeters on the bottom, it is 14 centimeters on the top. So what they're asking us to do on the formula is take 2 times length plus 2 times width. Let's go do that. If I have 7 and I take 2 times 7, this of course will equal 14, and then if I added 14, I'll do it this way, 2 times 7 equals 14, and now once I've reached that, I'm not drawing a second line, so I'll just go 14 for my solution. And 2 times uh, 14 equals 28. So 14 plus 28 would, of course, equal 42. So the perimeter of a rectangle with, and I'll just call this the length. Arbitrarily, I can call the other side the length if I want to, but it's longer, so I'll make it the length, and I'll make 7 the width of the rectangle. 2 times the length plus 2 times the width will equal 42. Now likewise, they can take this, not give us a solution there, and not give us a solution there, and they can simply put 42. And when we're talking about a rectangle, the, uh, I'm sorry, I'm making a mistake there. When we're talking about a rectangle with 42 feet, this again is linear feet, or as if we're making a straight line around the outside of the box, 7 centimeters, this is centimeters also by the way, uh, 7 centimeters by 14 centimeters, so it is 42 centimeters as a, uh, as a perimeter measurement. So we'd see this, 42 centimeters as the problem that we have to derive a process for. Now it's important that when it is a linear measurement, they're not going to have anything up here like a number square or a cubed, as such as in a area measurement or a volume measurement. It's simply going to be 42 centimeters or a linear, linear measurement, which indicates a distance around the outside of this. So if we saw 42 centimeters, they may, for instance, give us that one of the sides is 14 centimeters, and what, therefore, does the other side have to be? Okay, so we might have to solve for x where the 7 is. Well, we can go over that in algebra, but the idea here is that what we're going to do is we're going to possibly be required to solve for an unknown side of the rectangle, or we may again have to select where 42 is the given centimeters and these other numbers are missing, that what we're looking for is the formula that will arrive there, which is 2 times length plus 2 times width. Now, if they're going to use the 2 times length plus 2 times width, a distractor that they could throw in would be that perimeter equals 4 times side, or the formula for the perimeter of a square over here to the rectangle again. If we were to take 4 times a side, and I'll just go ahead and say that this again is 7 uh, centimeters, there, 7 centimeters. If I was to take 4 times 7, I would equal 28, and obviously 28 is not equal to 42, so I can't simply work a rectangle problem in the same way that I can work a centimeter. Uh, excuse me, a rectangle problem. I can't work a square in the same way I can work a rectangle problem. So if I, as uh, 4 times side, 
perimeter equals 4 times side would be a logical distractor, and if I selected that distractor, that would be wrong. So those are some of the ploys that await us for simple problems where we can add the sides, but if we don't know the formula that is the basis that they're using to solve that problem, we can't reference the formula and pull it out from a possible list of distractors.